Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Pisser, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make animated pixel art electric in Photoshop. It's very, very easy to do. I've been using this a lot in my overlays. If you have um, seen my stuff over on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter, guys, at Timbers HD. That's where I upload all my stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been using it a lot in my overlays and other designs, and it looks really, really cool, uh, especially on overlays, um, this cool animated pixel art electric. Um, so yeah, I'll teach you guys how to do it. It's very easy. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, you guys can do the electric light over the top of overlays, like I said, or... Um, I don't know, um, you can do it on top of anything, but I'm just going to do it on a blank background for you guys. So let's just make the uh, document that I'm, I've got open is a 2560 by 1440 document. Um, but we can scale that down in a second. So I'm just going to make the background like a dark blue, like so. Um, let's do that again, dark blue, like that. And then alt backspace to fill it in. Uh, and then I'm going to go to image at the top, image size, and then just take off a zero off the end. Um, and by doing that, we can now work with pixels because it's a smaller document. And we're going to make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edge. And then once we've done, we're going to add a zero and um, yeah, it'll be scaled back up to normal size and it'll be in HD. But for now, we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's really small now. So I'm going to zoom in. And yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to window at the top and go to timeline. Um, and then we've got this little timeline at the bottom and you wanna click create frame animation. And this is where we can start animating it. Um, and we wanna make sure that it's set on forever so that it just keeps looping like a, a GIF or should do or like an animation should do. Um, but you wanna make sure that the interval between each frame is on 0.1 seconds, guys. Um, that's just like the perfect um, like interval in my opinion so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a new layer and we're gonna go to the pencil tool make sure it's on 100 opacity and it's on one pixel and choose whatever color you guys want to use so I'm gonna use a really light blue for this electric I think that'll look quite nice and I'm just gonna make the electric just go across like so just across the, um, the document so but we're gonna do it in different stages. So um, I want the electric to start off slow and then just go across quite quickly and then finish sort of slowish. So, um, and that depends on like how many, how big the lines are. So if you do that and then the next frame, it's like that. And then the next frame, it's like that. That means it'll start slow and start going quicker because um, yeah, that's just get on with it. Like, it's no point explaining it, but yeah. So I'm gonna start off just with like a few little spots, like so. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So that's how I want it to start. Maybe, maybe just that. And then I'm gonna add another frame. And then um, let's just add a few more. And basically, it's just adding new frames and then just um, you know working with it so I might just do something like that add a new layer I don't know how long I'm gonna make this but yeah you just want to kind of want to click like that once I've finished and I've gone all the way across and created a cool like zigzag sort of line um, and they're all on separate layers we're gonna at the end we hide it all and then we like in each individual one we unhide like so so it sort of looks like it's moving but for now we just want to see everything so yeah let's just add a new layer um, let's just do something like that and a new layer I'm gonna make this one quite long like so and then I'm gonna make the next one even longer gonna like join it up a little bit um, and then I'm just gonna like make these last few a bit shorter so it's a lot of clicking um, you guys can probably do it a bit better than me I'm just kind of rushing it um, yeah probably like do a few more and 
and then I'm just going to finish off with a few like little ones like so. So yeah, now what you want to do is down here you want to click this add new frame. But you want to do it for how many different images uh, layers you've got. So we've got 12 as you can see right there. So I'm going to add 12 new layers. Well, 11 because we've already got one. So let's just do that to get to 11. In fact, I'm going to add a few more because. I don't want it to keep replaying straight away, I want a little gap, so let's just do like 20 and we're going to start on like frame number 4 or something. So you want to go to frame number 1 and you just want to hide all of the layers that you've got and then um, where you want it to start we're going to add the first one, then the one after that, the next one and you just want to keep doing that for each one. So. Boom. You've got to have patience when you do pixel art. It's not that too bad, it's not too bad. I get it done quite quickly. Wait, what layer was that? 11, okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's 12. So it looks pretty cool right now, but we, we're going to add detail to it. So if we play it back, it sort of looks like that. I could maybe. Maybe add like one more at the end. So I'm gonna add one more layer and then just so it's about there. So want something like that. But as you can see, it's like on top of every single layer. So what you wanna do is go back to number one and hide it. So then it hides it for every single layer and then you wanna to go to the layer you want it to be on. So 16, boom. And now it just, it just appears for that one layer. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So next thing we're gonna do is, um, so it starts at number four, we're gonna go back down to the layer one. And now this is where you guys can be creative and add color, add other stuff, you know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the opacity to about 40. And then on the layer that I've got, so this layer, layer one, maybe just add, you know, little spots to show like the electrics giving off like a little glow. Um, so yeah, then the next one, we're going to go to layer 2, maybe add a bit more, like so. Next one, go to layer 3. So yeah, it looks really, really cool once you get this done. Um, what other things you can do is if you go to white, and then on top of the blue add little spots of white to make it look like it's proper bright, then um, that looks really, really good guys. So you just want to kind of just do this for the whole entire thing. Um, yeah, I don't know whether to speed this up. I don't know whether to speed it up or what. Um, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing it and just keep talking. Um, so yeah, just keep doing that. But obviously because it's on a low opacity, if you press once it's like that. If you press again it brightens it a little bit. So just like you vary it in some areas you can double click, triple click, you know. So maybe triple click. But you just kind of want to make it random, you don't want to make it too like like a pattern. You want to make it quite random, so something like that will look good. And then layer 10. I'm going to add some more stuff. So you want to kind of make it look like it's leaving a trail behind. Like so, and then maybe some over there. You know, I'm doing this quite quickly, but you guys can take your time with this, obviously. And it will look very, very nice. Um, so. But yeah, let me know guys in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this. I can, I'm thinking of doing more speed arts in the channel of pixel art, so stay tuned for that guys. It would be awesome. But yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter whilst I'm, you know, yeah, whilst I'm free of doing the tutorial. I'm just going to tell you quickly, just follow me on Twitter, at TimpersHD, that would be awesome. Um, so layer 10, just a few more little ones, 14, bang, bang, something like that, 15, and then one more after this I think. But I'm going to add one more layer and just add like, Two. And then 
but it's I need to hide it on layer one, so it hides it on every single one, and then on the one that I want it to be on, unhide it. So now if we look back at it, we've got that little animation. As you can see, it starts off slow and gets faster because the lines are longer. As you can see. Um, but yeah, there's more stuff you can do to this. Um, I don't know how long this tutorial is going to be, um, but I want to make this a good one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go over each one again. So just click on the layer and when it starts. So um, it starts in frame four, layer one. I'm going to go to the pencil tool, go to white. Make sure it's on about, let's put it on like 79 and just press like on some of the pixels and make it white so it sort of looks like it's glowing. Usually it's in the middle, so something like that. This would won't take as long guys, but yeah. It just looks pretty cool, um, just varies it up a little bit, changes the way it looks. Yeah, it can come out looking really nice. What else? I'm gonna add you. I'm gonna show you guys one more little thing after this, just to you know make it look cool. Um, I'm gonna add like a glow behind it, um, so it looks like whatever's behind it is um, a little bit brighter. I'll show you guys what I mean in a sec. Um, so yeah, let's just add some more white. But yeah, you don't as well as well as adding the white, you can add like a darker color to the um, electric. If you guys know what I mean. So instead of adding white, you could maybe set it to black and then set the blend mode to overlay. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. Uh, I don't want it to be too long this tutorial, so I'm not going to show you how to do that, but if you do know how to do it, that would look really cool. Adding like a darker colour to the blue as well as a lighter colour. Because electric it obviously isn't all the same colour, like some of the colours are different. And the more detail you add to it, the better it looks in the end so let's just finish this off maybe just add one there um, and then for this one I'm just going to bring down the opacity quite a bit just like click once on this one but yeah so let's just have a look at what we've got now we play it back let's just zoom in a bit it looks very very nice but yeah, like I said, you can add this to overlays and loads of different things. I've recently, if you've followed me on Twitter, I've recently done like a starting soon screen and it's like of a controller that's in the ground, like a PS4 controller that's like, uh, like a meteor that's just hit the ground, but it's a controller and electric is like flowing around the controller um, and I did that. So you can, you can be creative, you can add electric to many different things and it looks good. Um, but I'm just going to do one more thing. Um, on layer 4, I'm going to add a new layer at the very bottom and you want to make sure it's a brush and it's set to whatever colour you're using, so I'm using a light blue and I'm going to just um, press once, like so and you guys don't have to do this, I'm just going to hide this layer and then on layer 4, I'm going to unhide it, bring down the opacity of it and then next layer, unhide it again and then move it along a little bit, bring down the opacity and then unhide it again, move it along um, and then bring down the opacity but obviously as it gets bigger the glow will get bigger as well so you guys need to take that into consideration um, but yeah you guys get the idea so if I just play it back I'm not going to do the whole entire thing, but yeah, I just get the idea. So, starts off quite, maybe less than that. But you get the idea. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know down below by hitting the like button. Can we break 100 likes, guys? That'd be insane. Comment down below what tutorials you want to see on the channel for me next. Follow me on Twitter at TempestHD and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And with that all being said, I hope you all have a sick day today and I'll see you in the next tutorial.